It's time for Around the Ozarks News, brought to you by the Springfield Green County Park Board, Roto-Rooter Plumbing and Drain Service, Blue Current, and Thompson Sales. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Hey, good morning. Ethan is off, so Diana is in. You're the best. Seriously, I I am so thankful. I hate to even ask because I know it's dark and early, but here's the thing. Doesn't it, like, wake you up? Doesn't it, like, feed It gets me going. Okay. It gets me going. And that's what friends are for. It makes me so sad when you're doing this all by yourself. Uh, You will have a very productive day because it started early enough. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right. Well, we will look at some news. Starting with this, a teenager in Springfield was killed in a shooting. Police say 16-year-old Devondre Thompson Bogger was shot inside a Springfield home on Friday night and now has died from his injuries. That was at a house on East Linwood. One juvenile is in custody. The Springfield Green County Health Department is focusing on men 45 and older regarding all things mental health. Springfield apparently has a higher suicide rate than both the state and national numbers. The mortality rate per 100,000 people in the U.S. is around 14. But in Missouri, that number jumps to 18. And in Springfield, it jumps to 22 per 100,000 Uh, men. So, wow. The health department is starting a campaign called, Hey man, you good to try to reduce the suicide numbers, focusing on changing the stigma regarding getting mental health care help. Wow. That's really surprising. I've seen that campaign already. Have you? Uh, Yes, actually I did yesterday and I was excited that I saw it because I was otherwise unfamiliar with it. But Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I feel like I've been in the news business long enough. I've covered a million stories and there's for sure a stigma. I also thought it was interesting that they said 45 years and older. Yeah. That breaks my heart. You know, that's sort of my generation. I'm not quite there yet, but there is a difference in, um, mentality I found among like even workers, like, um, Like people my age don't call in sick for a mental health day. That's not a thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I agree. I worked with people like that. Younger than me, like friends of mine, but who are like a decade younger, for instance, they're like, I just need a mental health day. Like I need off Mm -hmm. because I feel, I don't know, stressed or anxious, like whatever the word is. I don't know what the adjective is, but or adverb, but like it is, it's just a different, I don't know. So I was a little surprised at the 45 um, age range specifically. And then I thought, no, maybe I shouldn't be surprised by that. Yeah. I love it how it gives us talking points like, hey, man, you good? Like, so any person or, you know, that you can go to, you can use that really for anybody. Like, I feel like it's interchangeable even among women. Like, right. I mean, you you know, hey, you good? You know, yes. and so I, I like the talking points for it because I do too. It's okay to say you're not okay. Yes. That's okay. And yes. And being okay with saying that you're not okay. Mm-hmm. You well, how mean, often, you know. I mean, you, you know, it's like the standard thing. Hey, how you doing? Good. Fine. How are you? Right. And does anybody ever follow up and be like, no, why'd you just say you're fine? Yeah. You know? So yeah, I, don't know. I follow up and then it probably, and then I probably make it awkward. <laughs> I, you know, you're not I, fine. I can tell no, you're not, you're fine. not fine. Yeah. Can I, can I, what's your name? How are yeah. you? <laughs> let's let's have a this counseling down. session. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, anyways, on to this, uh, construction work. Oof. If you drive James river freeway and South Campbell, I am sorry. The, <laughs> the construction continues. That is in our neck of the woods. I drive it like several times a day. MoDOT says beware. They have restriped and narrowed the road in both directions so they can start working on expanding the overpass at the interchange. It's all part of the ongoing freeway wide widening project between National and Kansas Expressway, set to be done in November of next year. <laughs> um, so drive slowly around there and um, just watch for people getting in your lane because I know that has happened so many times. Almost every time I go down that road, it's like, yeah, Lord. I'm like that's not your lane. <laughs> Um, I feel like I should like make a confession, but I don't want the police to track me down. And I know that Chief Williams watches this. Oh, <laughs> so well, you're please, easily Chief findable. <laughs> uh, I'm easily findable. But I was there the other morning, and granted, like keep in mind, this is like three thirty in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, um, because I keep crazy hours. It is true, um, but it was red, and it would not turn green. 
and there was not another car on the road. And after and like, like four or five minutes, that. I was like, and I'm going. And so that's I've, what I did. I've done that before. Yeah. I it was just change. strange because I knew nobody was coming. Yeah. So I didn't really feel like I was going to like get in a crash, but I felt like I should abide by the law. Like yeah. I'm, I'm a law person. Oh. I happen to believe in the law, <laughs> but I couldn't do it. I was like, this is crazy. Oh um, goodness. so I hope that once it's, and I guess it's probably all because it's still all like torn up, but, um, hopefully they'll get the, the timing figured out. Cause it was let's, a thing. Well, um, let's all hope so. I think yes. lights just get like that sometimes. Yeah. But that one is an awkward one because that's not the first time that's happened. Not where I've like run the red light, but where there's been a group of people sitting to go in one direction, which yeah. is on the main road. And yeah. there's no one on the side road, yet it's still not turning green. That's I mean, so for like several minutes. So anyway, I just felt like I needed to get that off my chest. So yeah. thank you. No, you are welcome. Now, you know I, what? Now I'm good. Are, are I'm you good. good? Are you good, friend? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we had this talk. That's yes, great. Me too. Me too. <laughs> well, the nation's highest court is taking up a very hot button case. Uh, the Supreme Court has agreed to hear a case that will decide whether states can restrict gender affirming care for minors. The case was brought by the Biden administration challenging a transgender care ban that was enacted last year in Tennessee. It outlawed hormone therapy and bu puberty blockers for minors and imposes civil penalties for doctors who violate those uh, prohibitions or prohibitions. Uh, that case will be heard this fall. Interesting wow. that they're going to take that up. We'll see. That's, yeah. All right. Springfield City Council weighing in on transferring money that was made by the hotel tax to boost tourism. Voters approved a 5% hotel tax to be used to promote tourism in our area. The Springfield Convention and Visitors Bureau receives 47% of the tax. The Springfield Regional Arts Council and the Sports Commission get 4.5% each. Oof. Oof. Well, onto this housing is expensive. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but no matter how, whether you own or rent, it seems like housing just continues to go up. Uh, both homeowners and renters report they are increasingly burdened by a rise in housing costs in recent years. About one in four households say they are stretched too thin. The cost for those who rent is even more crippling. The news, uh, the new study from Harvard says rent payments have been rising faster than incomes for decades. Uh, but the pandemic jump in rental prices produced an unprecedented un or affordability crisis. And yeah. I think the demand too for just housing in general, I think trying to find affordable housing has been, I know, a hot, a hot topic issue for the Springfield area for many years. Yeah. So. And getting um, younger people being able to get a house has been harder to do as well with this, yeah. you know, with yeah. price. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, speaking of stretching your dollars, d uh, diapers are very expensive and families in the Ozarks um, apparently need more help in trying to keep those babies dry. The diaper bank of the Ozarks is collecting cash for diapers. They are in need of about 4 million diapers right now. Wow. That blows my mind, by the way. Um, no wonder it's so expensive, right? Because your baby has to, you have to change your baby's diaper. How many ever times a day? Uh, we forget, right? We're a yeah. little bit uh, <laughs> removed, removed from that. <laughs> yes. But um, demand at the nonprofit Diaper Bank of the Ozarks is like nothing they've ever seen. Meanwhile, donations are down, like fewer people donating. Uh, so nearly half the families that they're seeing say they cannot afford enough diapers per month. Uh, because the cost of those diapers is way up. So if you can donate, uh, you can donate diapers, but they actually prefer cash because yeah. they have deals with the manufacturers and they can get more for your bang, more bang for uh, your book, Di for, your for your diaper book. <laughs> hey, can I share another fun thing about this that I didn't yeah. know? Yeah. Council of Churches is like the hub of that where the diaper bank is. And every time they get a donation in the warehouse, they ring this bell. And Aww. I was there volunteering and we were actually bundling diapers. So they take apart the packages, they bundle them so that it gives the, the person in need of diapers like a pack of diapers. So they're not going to necessarily go and take that case of diapers back to Walmart to pay their rent 
or right. other financial means. And so they they repackage them. It's a really cool process. But we heard that bell go off like several times. And so yes. that's so encouraging. So make the bell go off, people. Yeah, make the bell that's go cool. Off. Um, along those lines, this is also something that is interesting along the same little um, thing. So we used to take um, baby formula to Haiti or not like I did it all the time, but like people from the Ozarks would take baby formula to Haiti. And on one occasion, I was among them who regularly donate and we had to take it out of the package as well and put it into Ziploc baggies, wow. which then I'm like, this looks like drugs or something because it's <laughs> not in its original container, but it's formula. It's for the same reason. Yes. They don't want it repack like if it comes in the original package they fear that it might not get to the baby because they yeah. might take it back to the store yeah. and try to or sell them on the black market in that case in haiti for like rent money mm -hmm. um, or housing costs not that yeah. that's not a worthy cause but in other words whether it's diapers baby formula whatever it is um, packaged in such a way that it definitely goes to the baby it cannot be exchanged you know, back at the store or wherever yeah. for money. Yeah. So good to know. That's what we do yes. around the Ozarks news in four yeah, There you go. The good there you go. Now, you know, <laughs> um, don't forget, uh, check out around the Ozarks.com. We have the community calendar, which has all sorts of events and is so fun. Also, there is the contest tab. And if you look right now, you can win, uh, tickets to the Rolling Stones. <gasps> so, that's yeah. so good. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. You know, we were talking about this and 1047 the cave is is giving away tickets as well. But oh. it's funny because even if you're not a huge fan, it's just that kind of band that you're going to tell your kids and grandkids someday like, "Hey, I saw them live in yes. concert." Because and they've been can around I, the forever. tickets alone. The tickets alone. Yeah, cuz we're going and we paid $270 a ticket. That's Are you a good for real? Price. I'm for real. Oh, our whole I, family's going. Listen, I am such a cheapskate. I couldn't do it. You pulled the trigger. You're you know right. what? Good for you. When good is for you? When is the next time they're going to be in Branson? Are They'll be, be in a grave tomorrow. I know. Right. Aren't they like a million years old or something? Yeah. And their book, I'm reading all about them right now. Keith Richards and Mick Jack. I mean, it's just fascinating. Like just the stories behind the music. I believe um, that. Yeah. I don't know a lot about them. And so now I'm like, what can I learn about the Rolling Stones? <laughs> yeah. Ethan is a live music fanatic. I'm not. So it would be hard for me oh. to spend that kind of money on that. But it's I memories. could see him doing it memories. because he's. Um, and he's like an old soul. So he would be very, that would be very Ethan esque. So. And for him to spend money on that, that means yeah, he's oh, really yeah. important. <laughs> it's true. It's true. You know him by now. It's true. Um, okay. So anyway, if you don't want to drop some cold, hard cash, like Diana did go to around the Ozarks.com, enter the contest and you could win free tickets. There you go. And I can sell mine online. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you can don't sell do yours on go eBay for a thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. No, go to the show. That's oh, fine. all right. Well, hey, thanks, Diana. Thank you guys for joining us. And um, if I can talk her into it, we will see you back here tomorrow morning. You know it. Sound like a plan, Stan? Great. Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. See ya. Bye. Bye. It's time for Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, sponsored by Scooters Coffee and Rescue Towing. Here's your host, meteorologist, Abby Dyer. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your Tuesday. It is June 25th. I'm meteorologist Abby Dyer, and you are listening to Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather. We are waking up with temperatures in the 70s this morning. It is another warm start, and you guessed it. It's going to be another hot one in the Ozarks. High temperatures in the 90s, but heat index values will really take the headlines in our area today because we are talking about another heat advisory across the Ozarks and temperatures that are just going to skyrocket. Heat advisory actually extended through 8 p.m. this evening. Of course, we had that heat advisory out yesterday, too. It's dangerous heat that we are talking about now. The entire area under a heat advisory again today until 8 p.m., use caution for any outdoor activities. And if you have to be outside, find a way to cool 
down. Not much of a breeze today either. A south wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour. You might be able to feel a breeze in the shade if you can find some today. I would advise it because it is just so hot across the Ozarks. We start talking about the extension of the heat advisories and the dangerous heat. Just make sure you're really using all of the heat safety tips here. We repeat it all the time, but sometimes you forget. You know, you just can't leave people or pets alone in a closed car for any amount of time. Drink plenty of water in conditions like this. A reminder to wear loose fitting and light colored clothing that will allow you to stay the coolest and spend time in the air conditioning and the shade if you can, because temperatures can quickly become dangerous as this heat dome is still centered securely over the Midwest. Highs today in the 90s, that's going to be the case for the rest of the week. Now, actual high temperatures land in the lower 90s, but when you factor in that relative humidity, that's where that heat index value really starts to soar well up into the triple digits, close to 110 at times, and that has what pr has prompted some of these heat headlines to be issued from the National Weather Service. There is a complex of showers and thunderstorms on the radar today. It's well up to our northeast, and I think this is going to dive south into Illinois through the course of the morning and the midday hours. We may get some scattered rainfall today, though, as well. I think our chances likely develop late in the afternoon, but a better chance exists tonight into early Tuesday or early Wednesday. We will see conditions that are just scattered in nature. No real chances for super strong severe weather, but there will be at least a limited chance for a couple of stronger thunderstorms. I'll talk more about that in just a second. The best chance for rain, though, is going to come for late tonight into early tomorrow. Isolated strong to marginally severe storms will be possible into Wednesday morning. I do still have some uncertainty in the forecast with the extent of the severe weather here. Really, I think if we get some of those strong storms, the main risks will be hail up to the size of quarters, as well as damaging winds up to 60 miles an hour with some of the wind gusts. So certainly enough to cause some damage, but not talking about some big overblown severe weather event that's heading to the Ozarks tonight. Just remain weather aware and you might want to check the radar first thing tomorrow or listen to the podcast before you're heading out the door on Wednesday as we'll be tracking some scattered activity in the region. High temperature today, I'm going about 95 for the high temperature in the Springfield area, feeling more like 100 to 105. Those feels like temperatures will probably stay in the triple digits all week long. I have another chance for some showers and thunderstorms early in the day tomorrow, and then we see dry time and heat again for Thursday and Friday. An early look at the weekend shows that we may see some scattered rain chances develop again as we get closer to Saturday of this weekend. That would actually be great news because it keeps our temperature down a little bit, even though a lot of places still are not needing rainfall. Across the country, the headlines include this heat wave, but the focus of the heat wave has shifted a bit, a little bit further to the southeast, the mid-south, the midwest. We are now the ones talking about the extreme heat heading our direction, not just situated out on the East Coast. There are severe storms in the forecast today. It's with that complex that I mentioned that will eventually land in Illinois. But a flash flood threat also exists for parts of the Midwest today with that complex of showers and thunderstorms heading it through town. We have monsoon-like conditions then happening for the Southwest and the Four Corners region. We are not going to see that moisture, but we have a lot of humidity ourselves, and we'll be able to tap into some of that moisture as we head into uh, the rest of the afternoon. All right, it's time for the Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather Brain Twister Trivia Question. The question that I left you with yesterday, according to Instacart, what is the most disliked food in America? And just so you know, a little background on this Instacart uh, survey, this is based on the food that people order the least from Instacart. Uh, and the options that I gave you were A, anchovies, B, oysters, C, black licorice, or D, beets. I will tell you that all of these options made the list, but taking the number one spot as the most disliked food in America, it would be a anchovies. Um, I got to tell you, I pretty much dislike everything that's on the list of uh, most hated. So I am in the majority here for not enjoying these uh, 
some would say delicious foods, but anchovies taking the top spot, black licorice coming in second, oysters third, beets fourth, uh, other things that made the list, which were really surprising to me, delicious in my opinion, Brussels sprouts, awesome, olives, awesome, mushrooms, delicious, coconut, who doesn't like coconut, pickles, love them, mayonnaise, love them. Uh, so, so yeah, some of the things that made the list were pretty odd for me, but anchovies took the top spot with 58% of women saying they dislike anchovies and 45% of men saying they do not like the food either. The top reasons Americans claim uh, that a food could be polarizing to them include the smell, a strong flavor, a texture. I feel like anchovies hits all those. Smell, strong flavor, <laughs> texture, visual appearance. Yeah. Um, and how it makes you feel after eating it. I couldn't tell you because anchovies are not my thing. But congrats. If A was your guest, you're now entered to win the $20 gift card to Scooter's Coffee. Here's the next chance to win. This is tomorrow's question. What state boasts the shortest one way commute time to work. One way commute time to work. Keyword there. Uh, the options are A, Rhode Island, B, Missouri, C, Vermont, or D, South Dakota. You can let us know your guess. That's at aroundtheozarks.com. Enter your guess and you could win 20 bucks to Scooters. Thank you so much, Scooters, for sponsoring Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather in our Brain Twister trivia question. Also, thank you to Rescue Towing for sponsoring our podcast. And thank you for listening. If you're enjoying Around the Ozarks Wake Up Weather, make sure you tell us. Give us a rating anywhere you listen to your podcasts. I appreciate you listening. Thank you so much. And we will chat again early tomorrow morning.